I grew up in like really different places. Um, I spent some of my childhood years in America and then back to China and then came to the UK. So like all the education system was really diverse and maths was like the only thing that was quite consistent. Yeah, because I did architecture and then swapped the choices of career after architecture were really limited. Yeah. Whereas like maths there was a lot more I can do. Yeah. Yes. My parents did not want me to do maths. Oh really? Yeah, they said, you know, can you even do it? You know, A level's fine, but it's uni maths. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they wanted me to do economics, so I made a compromise, maths and economics. Mm -hmm. So, I love maths, <laughs> <laughs> but I had to compromise. I think my parents were really happy that I did maths, because I, I just think that maths has got a really good reputation. Mm -hmm. And employers really like maths, so that's why my parents liked it, because mm -hmm. I think they could just assume that you can get a job at the end. Yeah. But that's definitely the reputation <clears throat> anyway. Mm -hmm. I think like once you've understood how to do a problem, you want to do more because mm. you're like, oh, actually if I apply this exact set of steps to any problem, like mm. it should work um, within, yeah, within the bounds of that set of problems. Um, mm. And yeah, once you've done one, they might get a little bit harder, but you know that you can get there because mm. it's a set of steps, it's logical. That's what I like about it. Yeah. It's a common language. Yeah, it's a common yeah. language. Yeah, like you said. <laughs> Universal <laughs> language. I think maths can be quite frustrating a lot of the time because you can stare at problems for ages and just not get anywhere. But then when you get somewhere and it makes sense, it's like, wow. Like, yeah. And then you want mm -hmm. to do it again and do more yeah. questions. And it feels like an achievement. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if my mind would change, but at the moment I have like two possible career paths, either like a maths teacher or something, because I do like working with kids, um, but yeah, probably secondary. Um, I'm thinking of going into actuarial science, yeah, exactly. so I've got an internship with Ernst & Young yeah. this summer because I'm doing a master's, so I'll still be here next year. Yeah, teaching yeah. sounds like mm. too stressful for me, <laughs> um, but I wonder if something else in banking and finance would suit me better. Um, I think I want to go into teaching, um, because I do think it's important um, to have good maths teachers because it is a difficult subject and I think a lot of people can get put off especially if they've not got the help that they need so as cheesy as it sounds it's all like to inspire people mm. to do maths. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> you guys are such good people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. It does look scary at first doing maths and like I remember looking around on the open days and seeing like work that people had done and being like, I will never be able to do that. But you learn as you go along and I'm sure if you'd looked at an A-level textbook when you were in year 11, you would have felt the same and thought, I'll never be able to do that. That's so beyond me. But like you said, there's so much help available and you can, you can do it. <laughs> so say why maths, why not, really?